known as Hatfield in the North. And they are a Canterbury scene band. Short-lived experimental from 1975 in Canterbury. That's an actual city in Kent. Any further east, they'd be in Doggerland. Canterbury scene bands are Soft Machine, National Health, Caravan, Camel, Egg, Con, Gong, Matching Mole, Henry Cow, and The Wrong Object. Pat Field and the North consisted of Phil Miller, Pip Pyle, Richard Sinclair, and Steve Miller. No, not the American Steve Miller. Dave Sinclair and Dave Stewart. One of the reasons the band had a short life was because everyone was busy joining other Canterbury bands. And they found the time to sign with Virgin when they chose the name Hatfield and the North. There were two albums. One, Hatfield and the North in 74. Number 34 of Q's list of 40 cosmic albums. Calyx. Son, there's no place like Homerton. This is Rifferama. Two, The Rotters Club in 75. One, Share It. It. Two, Lounging There Trying. Yep. Whole album's gonna be very fine. But this is jazz. Three, Big John Wayne Sock Psychology in the Jaw. Four, Chaos at the Greasy Spoon. Wah Wah Bass Line. I find that questionable. Five, The Yes No Interlude. John. John McLaughlin esque and Zappa esque and Frank Zappa and John McLaughlin. Fitter Stroke has a bath. Nice vocals. Didn't matter anyway. And yes, it did. English accent and prog. Eight, underdub, Celeste sounding synthesizer. Nine, monks. You can stay home from school and play at your friend's house, and he has the mumps. And guess what? Now, so do you. I don't have that much to say about using a wah-wah on a bass. Actually, I don't really like it on a guitar. I don't know, I think it's just way overplayed. It's kind of annoying. Do you agree with me? Well, you know, this band's from a long time ago. They throw a wah-wah bass in there. It's not anything to even get noticed really I guess this is the 70s in good old England and uh, this is an example of a band that really didn't come over to the United States and get noticed by anybody but it didn't matter they were doing what they wanted to do a lot of Canterbury bands made some really excellent progressive rock and as far as I know, they still are.